With modern zombies, people have been feeling that zombies felt less and less like zombies. And of course, people have gone to explain this, talking about some big picture stuff, and also talking about the war zonification of zombies. But really, what I think it is, is not the war zonification of zombies, it's more of just the lack of zombifying zombies. And what's crazy about the zombifying zombies is that I think it's the little things that make the biggest difference that they just aren't doing anymore. And I think you guys watching this are going to agree very much with what I'm going to say in this video, so you might as well not waste any time and just drop a like and subscribe right from the get-go. But with that said, let's get into the importance of the little things in Call of Duty Zombies. Now first, what do I really mean by zombifying zombies? Well, I think the best example of this is when they reuse assets, because that's been a big complaint in modern zombies, just reusing stuff straight from the other game modes that aren't zombies. Uh, but the thing is that zombies has always done that, but it's actually changed with modern zombies how they reuse assets. And really the best way to explain the difference is by looking at Black Ops 3, a game that I and many other people consider to be the best zombies game mode of all time. Because if we look at a map like Rod Crovey and its special weapon, the Gauntlet of Siegfried, technically this is actually reused from multiplayer. It's just the Ripper and Purifier from multiplayer reused into zombies. But the difference is, is that they actually zombified it. They gave a story to it. Because how you get this is by finding a dragon egg, nurturing it till it hatches, and then you have a little pet dragon on your arm that functionally works as a flamethrower. Pretty much the same thing as the purifier. Yet even though that's the case, no one complains about this. And that's because they zombified it. Not only did they reskin it, but they also gave a little story to it. But this isn't the only example of this. Black Ops 3, just like all the other zombies game modes, reused a lot of different things. I mean, the Sparrow, a bow that shoots exploding bullets, is literally reused in the Rise and the Rocket. Of course, there's the upgrade variants, which is entirely different, which is very nice, but at least in this base version, it's straight up for multiplayer, just reskinned. And also, the church from the Rise and the Rocket is from the campaign. But the difference is, and why no one was talking about the war zonification, multiplayerification of zombies, was because it was all zombified. When they took something from the other game modes, they always zombified it. And now we compare that to what we see in modern zombies. An example would be the streak system. I mean, streaks in zombies isn't a bad thing, and I think with Black Ops 6 they're going the right direction, having unique zombie streaks with the mangler cannon and turning into a mangler streaks, but there still is straight up the chopper gunner, and there's still straight up the hellstorm missile. These are things that are directly from multiplayer, not changed at all, not zombified at all. And that's the problem here, is that they don't zombify the things they are taking from other game modes like they used to. Like in Garage Crovey, if that was a modern zombies map, they would have just put the pure fire in zombies. They wouldn't have changed anything at all. They wouldn't have reskinned it at all. And how do I know that? Because that's literally what they did in Cold War. There was a flamethrower from multiplayer that was used one to one into zombies. And that's exactly the problem, is that they're not zombifying these features anymore. When you bring something over from another Another game mode they just copy it one to one they don't change it at all another example is this the armor system this is straight up from warzone there's no questions about this this is literally just warzone armor in zombies they didn't functionally change it at all and they couldn't even reskin it for zombies like let's imagine functionally it works exactly the same but instead it's zombified instead it's not plates you put on but some sort of ethereal shield or vest or something like that that you could put on it just gets zombified in some way shape or form i mean nobody Nobody would be talking about the war zonification of zombies because it's not the exact same system being taken from warzone into zombies now on a side note i do wish they would change the functionality of it but that's not really the point the point is that they don't zombify things enough anymore i mean you'll see examples of it here and there a little glimpses of hope but like for the most part no, like every time we see something being reused for multiplayer campaign or Warzone, it literally functions the exact same way and looks the exact same way. They can't reskin it and they don't try to change its functionality at all. And that's the major problem with this. And this gets even worse because it's not just gameplay features. It's also what you hear and see in the game too. The greatest example of this is the HUD, one-to-one -one for multiplayer. They completely reused it. There's no stylized zombies. There's no zombification of the HUD. 
blood. And this of course takes away from the character of zombies because if you're seeing something in multiplayer, a characterless mode just being copy pasted over to zombies, of course zombies is going to feel less like zombies. Of course zombies is going to have less character because that's what you're doing. You're not taking the little extra steps, doing the small things to make zombies feel like zombies. And it's not just that. Like another huge problem that was in Cold War that I really hope doesn't happen in Black Ops 6 is the music and the ambient music because think about that game and try to think about the memorable music it wasn't there because most of that music just sounded like campaign music i mean sure there's one here or there that was nice but like compare that to like mob of the dead origins dreisendrake zetsubo like compare to those maps and that's exactly the problem because there was a main theme of the game that was cold war music and that even went into zombies zombies no longer had its own unique music and again just for one last example of this visuals is the menus i mean think about black ops 2 you had the world yet to spin through to get to the maps black ops 3 you were in the frozen forest and you saw your character sitting at the fire like these things are what make zombies feel like zombies these are the little things this is the zombified zombies something that we don't see anymore and it's just so frustrating because these seem like the easiest things to do. You're not building entirely new systems. You're reskinning things for zombies. You're slightly changing the functions of things that already exist for zombies. You're just making a HUD that really can't be that difficult just for the zombies game mode. Like things like this aren't the hard things to do in game development. These are the small things, yet they are being ignored for some reason that I just don't understand. Now, again, I do want to be fair to the developers here because it seems like they've made a lot of steps back to this track that we've been before. Terminus in terms of vibes already clears anything that we've seen in Cold War. They return to crew, and it also seems like we're going to get a ton of cutscenes too. All of that is looking great, but at the same time, you can't overlook the small things. And that's the real reason why people keep talking about this war zonification of zombies, because it's not even that. It's just the lack of zombifying zombies.